Hi everyone, Goddess Lily. Welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm wearing my new lace front wig and I wanted to just give you a little run through of, you know, what it looks like on. I am, uh, I have taped it down and of course, as you can see, it's not sticking. I think what you normally do is you put the tape down and you put glue over it. I mean, I don't know. I have a whole box full of tape and plies and glues. I just... I don't glue it down, so this is all new to me, but this is a wig that I'm going to be gluing down. <clears throat> but I wanted to show you um, what the side would look like if it were glued down and uh, <clears throat> what it would look like against the skin. So <clears throat> pretend it's glued and I want to give you a, a up close look at the hairline. You know, I did the baby hair, <clears throat> and uh, that's what it looks like up close. It is a very, very good fit. This is what it looks like around the ear. You can see the elastic. Um, I sewed a track underneath, and I will take it off, and I'll show you the inside at the end of this video. So um, this side pretty much looks like that side. It's a good fit around the ears. I'm very pleased at how it turned out. Um, I sewed vel Velcro in the back, and you'll see that too. And I want you to get a look at a good look at the part. So, um, <clears throat> I actually put a stocking cap, and the only stocking cap that I have is like a beige or light. Normally, I will wear a nude, but this is kind of really light, so you could see the parting, and. The first track is way back here. So that'll give you an idea of, you know, how long the front row is. It's about four and a half inches long. I have not measured it. But you know that there are single strands, double knotted all the way to back here. Then you can kind of see the double strands and the double knots. Knots are, are larger. I won't be bleaching this. I don't believe in bleaching. Bleaching does weaken the knots. So it's actually ventilated without a part. Let's see if I can comb it without having it lift up. The pattern that I ventilated it basically was I wanted it to just no part in order to get the part to show you, I actually had to part it and then wet it so it would actually part. Because now it's kind of ventilated to, it's ventilated like at an angle. And then I started coming around this way. So as you can see, the baby hair actually <clears throat> is ventilated down. And this is kind of ventilated, but it, it really doesn't have a part because I didn't ventilate it with the part. But, you know, I can do a side part. Now, one thing I want to say is, you know, this is hair that has been cut off the weft. So, hair that's been cut off the weft does not have the ability to flow unidirectional. It can't flow north, east, south, and west. It can only flow in the direction that is ventilated. So I try to create this unit the way I wanted to wear it. So you can kind of see that the hair is ventilated in one direction. And that's the only direction that it's going to flow in. So like, see, this is ventilated to go back this way. So it's not really going to fold over. To truly make a wig and to be able to sell it and command the money that you want, you are going to have to invest in bulk hair. I mean, that's, this is no ifs, ands, and buts about it. So I'm, I, the reason why I didn't cut this lace is because I want to market this wig and I want to take tons of photos 
and um, I want to make a marketing video with it because this is the first wig that I have made of this caliber. So I want to try to market to, you know, an exclusive clientele. I'm not really making um, lace closures anymore because they're very time consuming and I can't, you know, charge a lot of money because let's face it, you can, you know, buy beautiful closures now for under, under 100. So it really doesn't make sense for me to make them at a little bit of money when it takes a lot of time. So I just want to invest in making, you know, lace front wigs. Maybe eventually I'll make a full lace wig for myself, but I'm really not interested in that. But um, I want to, you know, just, I would love to make these, you know, and, and command the kind of money that I can get for the labor intensive work that's required. So I'm thinking 1200 to 1500 somewhere around that price range. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a quick look and I'll show you the, what the inside looks like. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. I'm standing behind the camera and I sew three combs. So it's a good look at the side. I put a really big comb in the back and I covered it with the really nice um, hem tape and then I have a comb there. And I also covered the seam with hem tape. That's where, you know, I joined the wig lace and the wig netting, the wig, the base of the wig cap. And as you can see, there is a track in the inside, and this is so when I wear it in a high ponytail, it'll cover up the weft. And let me show you the inside. So very messy here. But as you can see, I put... I took the hooks off. I'll show you this side. I took the hook off and um, I put Velcro. <laughs> so because it's not, um, okay, there we go. So I got this idea from the Wendy Williams wigs that I reviewed. This is awful because it gets all stuck. To the hair so you actually have to velcro it probably before you put it on so it's just a lot easier to deal with than snaps it really is it just looks like it's complicated because they I'm just taking it off and the hair is all tangled okay so there you have the inside thank you for watching